line. Across the face and turned in by Icardi. Soft as you like and a wonderful counter-attack finds Inter in front after 12 minutes and Mauro Icardi turns the ball home from close range and Hapoel have it all to do now. Goals have been a problem for them of late in this stadium in particular. And they find themselves behind. Lovely finish from close range. The ball is fizzed in from the left and Mauro Icardi just got the lead on the defender. Adair powering it in. And there was Icardi just uh, nipping in. Front of Zedek to uh, steer it in. And the Argentine gives into a lead after just 12 minutes. It's been a very open game. And Reva. Vanega, Adair, nice link up play. Inside is Brozovic. Get it on his left, and Brozovic will go for goal and score. Wonderful strike from the Croatian. Into double their lead, and that really was a special, special goal from Marcelo Brozovic. Scored twice last week on international duty for his country against Iceland. He's got a second here in Israel this evening for Inter. And after 25 minutes, this one might already be done and dusted. What a wonderful strike from Brozovic. Lovely link up play. Adair and Benega. And then Brozovic outside the area, brought it back inside and then struck it firmly with his left and in off the post. Look at this for a clinical finish. Nothing that David Goresh in goal could do about that. And Inter have put on a class display so far in a match they simply have to win to keep their hopes of qualifying alive. And Barrett Bakar knows that was a high quality goal. It's tip top best. Side in red. Bit on. Raddy. That's a lovely cross, lovely goal. Raddy's ball in, and Lucio Marania with a header reduces the deficit. And at long last, Apoel Beersheva have a way for Europa League group stage goal in their own Turner Stadium. It's 2 1 to Inter now, and Apoel are back in it. Lovely cross from Raddy, lovely header from Lucio Marania. Given time to put the cross in, just outside the six-yard box. It really was a gaping target and a powerful header from the big Brazilian. The only not happy, the defender's not happy, but he is. Let's see how much score. Here's Pazaglo now with a chance. He lift that over the goalkeeper and just wide. And another opportunity Mauro Bazzaglo has missed twice in the last minute or two and the goalkeeper has been shown a yellow card so he's going to get a red card so was there contact on Mauro Bazzaglo the goalkeeper has been sent off Samir Andanovic and he has got to go well now remains to be seen what the referee's given Bazzaglo Lifted it over with the keeper and just wide. Was there contact on him? Ball from the back. Here's Malbus Aglo. Now he's in the area. Oh, he's a trailing leg that's caught him. Oh, my word. It's the right decision from the referee. And he's caught him just a uh, lot below the chin. So, so Juan Pablo Carrizzo in goal. Anthony Nwakiemi to tie it all up. 70 minutes gone in the Turner Stadium, and it's there, it's two apiece. And look at those spectators celebrating as Hapoel Beersheba get back on level terms and Inter are 20 minutes away from going out of the UEFA Europa League. It's two apiece in Israel with Anthony Nwakiemi converting from the penalty spot. Stunning stuff. Got it so very nearly got there. Penalty in truth, was too close to the goalkeeper. Carrizzo couldn't keep it out, and Barrett Bakar celebrates. Now 30 seconds to go. John O'Gu. It's a nice looking ball, and there's a player across to the left, and here's an opportunity, and it's turned in, and they've got a winner through Ben 
Zaha and Hapoel are going to win this game. What a stunning turnaround. Hapoel Beshgeva in the third minute of stoppage time. Lead mighty Internazionale by three goals to two after giving the Italians a two goal advantage. Stunning stuff from the Israeli champions. And what a finish from Ben Saha, the man in form. Seven goals in his last six games now. And there's no time at all for Inter to come back. They look crestfallen. They look absolutely out on their feet. And they are going out of the UEFA Europa League. They're going to be defeated here by Hapoel Beersheba, who've taken a late, late lead. Three goals to two with a stunning burst on the counter-attack. Mohamed Ghanir with the back heel and Ben Sahar left unmarked, far side of the area, giving Juan Pablo Carrizzo absolutely no chance at all, totally exposed by a lack of defenders. And Hapoel Beersheba are leading Internazionale, a merry dance in the Turner Stadium.